Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra and welcome to my unboxing of uh, uh, the Start Collecting uh, Calibration Tools. No, just kidding. Um, I just want to talk about uh, a little bit how to calibrate uh, the perfect exposure time for your 3D printer. And the best tool for that is uh, from Table Flip Foundry here, this, uh, yeah, this tool. And, uh, well, these are the cones of calibration. Um, what it does, it uh, tells you exactly the uh, amount of uh, exposure time that uh, you need, um, well, for your miniatures. And uh, so you can uh, stop overexposing uh, your miniatures and lose details. Well, uh, what is overexposure? Um, overexposure happens when uh, your uh, 3D printer uh, is in the settings uh, from your slicer uh, for uh, too high amount of uh, exposure time. Um, the exposure time differs from resin to resin that you're using and uh, when you switch your resin you should uh, at least run uh, one of those uh, tests here to determine uh, round about how much the exposure time should be. So, um, here we have uh, now five tests that I have done over uh, several uh, prints. And as you can see, I have uh, written down under uh, them the exposure time. So, the first one uh, is this one here. This was eight seconds. And as you can see here, uh, first of all, <coughs> this here is the cone uh, that my scratch on my LCD screen uh, produces uh, on its own. And uh, the first two I have uh, simply uh, placed right above the uh, um, the place where the cone uh, should appear. So uh, I knew that uh, this uh, uh, this three here would be way overexposed uh, exposed, and uh, so I just saved a tiny little bit of resin for that. Um, yeah. Uh, here we have uh, the cones of calibration. Let's uh, zoom them in a little bit more. And uh, what we have here is um, a pillar with uh, five um, cones on the front side and five cones on the back side. And uh, here we have a plus success and on the back side there is written failure and uh, we have on top uh, the table flip foundry logo. And what we uh, can directly determine uh, by looking at this is that it is overexposed because uh, we can't really read the table flip foundry logo. It should look like this. See? This is what overexposure does to uh, your miniatures. It uh, produces uh, the so-called light bleed. What light bleed is, is uh, when you have your um, uh, your resin and um, your uh, light starts uh, exposure uh, on the uh, on the part and then it uh, cures the resin. But the longer uh, you're curing the resin, the longer, uh, well, the reaction keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, and then the light turns off and then uh, you have... Uh, the cured parts, but if you're overexposed, you see that here on this cone here, the, um, this bevel that you see here is the overexposure of the first few layers from uh, several seconds, and uh, they can see the light bleed happening. And also, you can see that here, the light bleed is filling up the uh, um, the logo. And also here the cones of calibration are uh, filled up. This here uh, looks uh, totally overexposed. The uh, cones that have uh, super tiny tips here normally, um, well, they are fused together. And so 8 seconds was way overexposed. Then uh, in contrast we have here num uh, with 5 seconds looks a little bit cleaner here when we uh, compare the cones. See? <clears throat> the logo is better readable, but still uh, a little bit wonky. Yeah, and uh, we come to the failure part uh, right at the end. <clears throat> right now we are just looking at the front and the uh, text, if it is readable. 
So the next was uh, 3.5 seconds, and there we can see, uh, well, the logo is now uh, completely readable here, and it has cat hair all over it, but don't worry about that. And all the cones have been printed, so this is uh, now uh, a setting with 3.5 seconds. Yes, with that you can uh, now print successfully miniatures without losing too much of the detail. But when we turn uh, on the failure side, hmm, we still have all the cones printed. What this means is uh, the cones here on the back should not be printed, because here the, uh, the cones uh, should print up until this point here, and then they should rip off, and the upper part, the upper row, should not be printed. This is how you uh, fine-tune now then uh, your, uh, your print. Next was uh, 2.89 seconds. Here we can uh, see the logo is even crisper, front is uh, printed successful, and uh, still we have all cones in the back, so this was still too much. And now we come to the last uh, print that I did. This is a uh, 2.55 seconds. Front is successful. The logo is crisp. And we start seeing failures here. And here you can now see, um, well, this one is uh, just a tiny little dot. This is uh, half printed here. And these three <coughs> are still printed. This is meaning that uh, we can at least uh, put down three more uh, seconds down from this here. So uh, the uh, optimal uh, print number should be around 2.25 seconds. Yeah, and this is uh, how you determine the perfect uh, exposure time for your printer. I could now print uh, the last one with uh, 3.25 seconds and see if uh, this would uh, absolutely determine uh, the print, but uh, with that I'm, I'm totally fine. It doesn't need to be super precise uh, for uh, the best prints. Sometimes a little bit better, uh, a little bit more uh, exposure time is better for your uh, for your supports to uh, have them on uh, um, good terms. So uh, I will stick probably with uh, uh, two point four seconds for my prints in the future. Yeah, this is uh, how you use the Table Flip Foundry uh, exposure time uh, cones of calibration. And, uh, well, I hope you liked this little interview, and we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra. Bye!